What up, all my woke folks? It's Shy, aka Sky. I'm sorry that I suck, but I give you my word, this is not the only video that we posted this week, okay? I've got another video coming on Wednesday, and I've got another video next Wednesday, and I would, I'm not releasing this video until I have these three movies, I mean, three videos set up, so you can rest assured that this is not the last time you'll be hearing from me for like a month. No kidding! Also, I know I'm pretty late when it comes to this topic, but this is just a part one to a part two of Lukewarm Christian's uh, little segment series that I'm going to be doing. So let's get into it. This DC Comics is going to set up Luke Christians to fall even deeper. You know why? Because lukewarm Christians, they don't read their Bibles, which means they're open and vulnerable to the deceptions of the world. So if they don't read their Bibles, they don't know. I mean, everyone has this idea, right? Everyone thinks it's a story. Oh, um, you know, there's this this great being that created us and the earth and he had a son he came down died for us yada 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 but if they're not really strong in the word they might question it too and actually think what the what this comic book is saying it might be true that god was mad at jesus and he wants him to be more like the sun god this is a true awakening like this is a true prophecy good will be called evil and evil will be called good do we see this right now and so on top of this we have lukewarm christians who are trying to raise their kids that are toddlers and like eight and nine year olds that don't know anything and now since they're following what their parents are saying and doing they think it's okay to read this comic book and they believe what it says in it or they're just not sure which is bringing about another generation of lukewarm Christians which God is going to spit you out. In order to live in this corrupt world your faith has to be solid as a rock. It has to be founded on a, sound, on a foundation of Jesus and knowing him because if not you are going to be flipped and turned and swayed and believe everything that they put out there. And if you're not equipped the way he wants you to be equipped, then you're going to fall because you're letting worldly desires fill you instead of the word, instead of God's love. And in doing that, bro, you're going to be easily deceived and you're not going to you're not going to be the one to fall to your knees when well, everyone's going to fall to their knees, but you're just going to be totally deceived and you're going to miss it. So I just pray that everyone wakes up, read your Bible and know the truth. Everyone they say, everyone says they know that Jesus loves them, but they don't understand it fully or they don't because if they did, they wouldn't be lukewarmers and wouldn't be okay with things like this, with things like this comic book. So I just pray that everyone wakes up. And make sure we don't tell our kids it's okay to watch these things because it's not. So thank you guys for watching this short video. Stay tuned for next week or stay tuned for later this week when the part two of this video will be out and the part two of the Black Culture Deception will be out next Wednesday. Thank you guys and, you know, go ahead and actually re-hit that notification bell because every Wednesday, every week... It'll be up and go ahead and follow these two Instagrams, which I will be uploading and also click the link in my description. I have a new YouTube um, vlog up and I also have a new um, article or like actually it's a part of my diary that I've written and it's about God a little bit in a cool creative way. So please go check those things out. I think you'll be interested and you'll like what I wrote in it's just a little piece of my writing. Okay, thank you guys. Love you guys. Bye, guys. See you later this week.